at the moment, right now, you need immediate help addition in addition on top. And therefore, we decided to mobilize 20 million euros for the immediate help right now. And then in a second step, the Solidarity Fund will support you in reconstruction and recovery. Um, my dear Boriana, I also want to thank you for the enormous commitment uh, of Bosnia-Herzegovina to the path of accession to the European Union. Bosnia-Herzegovina has come a long way, but with hard work, with a lot of dedication and determination, you now have achieved candidate status. It really makes a difference. And the member states have decided now to open accession negotiations in March. I think this was a historic moment when we witnessed that. But it is most and foremost a result of the hard work and the efforts of the citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina who are very clear about the future they want to be, um, they want to see. And of course, a lot of work is now still to be done um, in the accession negotiations. I know that you're working very hard on crucial laws related to the European fundamentals. That is democracy, that is the rule of law. And I have full confidence in Bosnia and Herzegovina to advance on its path uh, into the European Union. <clears throat> Your country has proven once, time and again in the past that it can move forward. You have shown that you can deliver when the country speaks, acts and moves forward as one. And I'm confident that we will see this more often. I want to assure you, the Boriana and the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina, that also in my second mandate, enlargement will be at the top of my agenda. There is a, a moment, a wind of opportunity now that we really should move together. We have all the instruments, all the necessary tools in place to make it a, re a reality. And um, therefore, I am determined to really take this movement, the momentum uh, to move forward uh, with Bosnia and Herzegovina together. I want to mention two initiatives. The first is the growth plan for the Western Balkans. It is our roadmap to already integrate parts <coughs> of your economy into the single market. So we open the doors of the single market for specific sectors so that companies from Bosnia and Herzegovina can access the single market. For that, we need reforms that we have a level playing field. And with the reforms comes additional EU funding to Bosnia and Herzegovina. I know that you are fully committed to this and we just could also listen to your words. So I just want to say we stand ready to help you finalize the growth plan. Um, I think that Bosnia and Herzegovina deserves this opportunity and I know that I have a strong partner to work uh, that we make it happen together. The second initiative I want to mention is our investment plan for the Western Balkans. It's now four years old and it is steadily delivering. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, the plan has already mobilized three billion euros of investment, mostly in clean energy. You know that the European Union has set the goal to be climate neutral by 2050. So we have to work together with our candidate countries that you join us and we have the same movement towards climate neutrality. Um, here, if I look at Bosnia and Herzegovina, more than 30% of your power already comes from hydro and wind. And now we are investing in projects to boost your renewable energy capacity. For example, the wind farms on Vlashtish Mountain and in West Herzegovina Canton. If you look at that, together they have the capacity to provide energy to nearly 100,000 homes. So this is enormous. Only by wind, 100,000 homes, all the energy that they need. And we are, of course, also investing in clean transport for better connectivity. This is so important for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here, for example, the railway corridor 5C is crucial that connects your country with Central Europe. <clears throat> I saw yesterday that parts of the corridor 5 are affected by the floods. The more it is important that we work on this corridor, mm -hmm. that it stays because it's a really important link 
uh, of uh, connectivity for the good of the prosperity um, of the economy. So we have a lot of great projects in the pipeline to work on. And, dear Boyana, we share the same vision for the future. A future where Bosnia-Herzegovina is a full-fledged member of the European Union. So I would say let's continue working on that. We've gone a long way already. We still have a way ahead of us, but I'm confident that you'll make it. Thank you.